Let's check out my base. I'm up to three barracks. I should probably start a forge. Just put it back here nice and safe because I am at like 1k. 1.5k. Oh, there we go. And again, so, so, so helpful to have all this mining down here. So my source took out all the stuff and I should probably send a builder over here. Build an analogy over here. So I'm like, okay, I've got Mordor controlled. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back towards the middle. Just kind of double check on the middle and I'll probably sweep back over to the men. And again, if they don't have cavalry out, it's so nice. Swords in the front, archers in the back. And you pretty much demolish. Very nice. Building up a little mirror of gladiol, just in case. Always nice to have that. And still no forge. No. And this barracks didn't get a rally point. Is my rally point changed yet? Uh there we go. Yeah, I changed my rally point over here. Just kind of stocking up. I'm like, okay, now at this point, just don't throw the match, which honestly is kind of hard to throw matches against Brutus. And so I am aware with he's probably got a farm up here, and I'm guessing he has one somewhere up here and over here. Yep. So again, it's just knowing the map and knowing how Brutus like to behave. And over time, he's totally different. And yeah, that's why Brutus are so easy to beat because it is easy. Get out of there! Don't waste level fives. Yeah, and so by now, wow, really? <laughs> okay, there's my forge. So I'm probably producing swords by now. Okay, maybe I'm not. <laughs> okay, when you're this far ahead, you should be producing swords because that's how you actually kill someone. Lauren archers never really kill them. Swords. Did. These beautiful level 2 swords. Let's take out that archer again. Because he doesn't have any cavalry. So the thing I'm next most afraid of is archers. And heroes, obviously, but he doesn't have the economy for heroes. None of them do. And here's where I start to show off a bit. I've got this ridiculously far forward Malon tree. And it's just like, what is he doing? Honestly, guys. <laughs> way far ahead and in fact I'm like maxed out of command points which is why I'm like okay let's just go ahead and push yeah. <laughs> so we have this many launchers I honestly don't need that many and to be super honest I shouldn't have that many so I'm just kind of like yeah you can shoot at these guys I really don't care because what I want is swords from. and pretty much the only way for me to get that right now is to kill all my archers so I was like, yeah, I do it. Oh, Limpip, the barricade I just killed there. Archers, for some reason, are super strong as barricades. I don't really understand the logic behind that. Because it's a structure, and archers, in case you haven't noticed, stink against structures. Yeah, I'm feeling some more stuff over here. So, yeah, that's the one structure archers actually go. And you notice how to kill that with my archers pretty much. And now I'm producing swords. No, now I'm upgrading my barracks. Yeah, it's something I like to do when I'm maxed out of command posts, command points, then I'll just upgrade my barracks. And should be getting swords pretty soon. Cause I did upgrade this forge to level two for a reason. And I got a green pasture just to be happy. Who's not happy with cavalry? We bring swords from the Name blank there. Um. Uh, do, 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 do. More swords than coming across. Just going around, harassing, being annoying. I'm good at that. Always be annoying in this game. Like, if you're like one of those really immature people that just loves being annoying, wonderful game. We bring swords from Lorian. Oh boy, lots of swords coming. Probably more on the way. Yep. So I'm just getting ready to go in and wipe them out. And honestly, the game's over at this point. Don't draw attention. But I have an ego, so I will show you the rest of it. <laughs> yep. And builder ain't getting through there. Brutals love to waste their builders. 
And he's like, here's a builder. He's gonna try to sneak by. He probably won't make it, but no biggie. Not even clumping around the slaughterhouse. But again. Uh, probably not what I meant to do. But uh, might as well go for it. Yeah, now I'm showing off. Now I'm building my trees here, I'm building them here. I'm like, dude, I've got like almost 100% vision on your base. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Back in your base. And should be using all these, but again, not smart enough. But still smarter than a builder. These guys are getting demolished for you guys. And, oh! Yes, upgrade has been purchased, so I now have Forge Blades. Wonderful. Yeah, that's pretty sad over there. And that's just as sad over here. Hey, over here. You see, grass in this fight. Slaughterhouse, excuse me. And lots of more swords coming. Mm, no more after that, so these are probably upgrading. Yep. And again, it's this freak thing I like to do, but I generally get the enchanted anvil. It's this little structure right here. Costs 500 resources and reduces cost of upgrades by 10%. Really, when I'm this far ahead, the game's gonna end too fast for that to really kick in and be worth something for me. But I'm just this freak where if I can spend like 270. Uh, yeah, 270 resources on an upgrade instead of 300. That makes me feel so good about myself. I was like, yes, this game is worth it. And I will play. And more awesomeness. There's three guys taking down the side of So yeah, I'm weird like that. So that's why I have the enchanted angel. Just for the sort of like this. Swords are worth 300, armor's worth 400. Banners, I don't even know the last time I got banners. They're what? 300. 65 power points. This is the way. That's cozy. And, oops. Apparently I took that out with my sword. And Brutal has been defeated. Wonderful. If only that was like a feeling of accomplishment, which... Again, it's too easy to be an accomplishment. As you guys see, my micro has not been perfect. So, this can be done. Don't be discouraged. Yeah, totally not using this. Expanding all around. Got trees up here. Yeah. This is just like... I'm gonna run here play rugby. Well, anyways, I've heard that rugby can be rugby. Some Americans like, who love Americans. Well, yeah, pretty much what I'm doing is just like knocking guys face first in the puddle of dirt. Then like jumping on him and cleaving his boots and laughing at him. Uh, so yeah, that's how to be the brutal with 69 power points left. And all I got was the rally call and heal. Now, again, I was elves, I'll admit that. I'm good with elves, and elves are a good defensive race. And so, that's one of the easier matchups. But I did make one of the Brutals Men of the West. With, uh, excuse me, one of them was Men of the West. I made him random. So, that makes it a bit more difficult. I don't think Mordor's such a very good computer, but I do respect the computer more as Men of the West than some other races. So, I also got... A follow-up request on the original 2v1 request and that request no I take it back um, I got a request to play against uh, specific races that this one person thought the brutal played really well so in my next video I'm gonna actually play as goblins and it's uh, goblins versus goblins and another race uh, goblins and dwarves that's it so that's a much tougher matchup, and that one's going to be pretty fun for me to cast. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I guess just leave comments, 
tell me what to do in my videos and uh, subscribe definitely subscribe and that's it for today see you guys next time